You're watching Gold Rush and a Russian. We're recapping the season 10 episode, A New Rush Begins. Oh man, another two hour episode? I mean, great, another two hour episode. So what happened? Rick and his crew start the morning with pancakes and a season goal of 2,000 ounces. Fire up the wash plant and let's get started. Or not. There's not enough water pressure coming from the pump. Shut it down. They move the pump upstream and try again. Rick starts hooting and vibrating in his chair, which is the apparent sign of success. I think I prefer helmet tapping. They are running 100 yards an hour of chunky boulders. Boulders being defined this week as rocks about the size of a migrated coconut, which is a sign of good gold. Carla shows up to run the gold room. Who doesn't like Carla? They shut down, check the sluices, and find... Nuggets. Well, nugget. Rick wants to add new wash plant rails to catch more nuggets. They scavenge from a scrapyard and weld up a new nugget trap. Hey, Discovery? This is how the show should be done. Small crew, logical weekly tasks, likable characters. More of this, please, and less of, well, everything else. It's cleanup time. Before the nugget trap edition, they find 18.24 ounces. After the nugget trap edition, a little over 26 ounces, with many nuggets. Giving them 45 ounces and a whole lot of beer for the week. Kevin is clearing the ground on the airstrip cut, but the water license plotline is still dragging along. Parker doesn't like the contract Tony offers and crumples it up for the camera. And they're shut down. Again. So they head off to the Paradise Hill claim and get the rusty 30-year-old Trommel running. But they will need to bring in the rest of their equipment from Indian River. Except not the dredges because they were a bad dream I finally woke up from. Time for a treacherous equipment hauling convoy. There are dangerous hairpin turns, or what I call 90 degree turns. Ah, potato potato. At one point they drive a truck into a ditch, then solve the issue by using a strategy called pulling it out of the ditch. They fill their pond, turn on the water, and after one day find gold. Parker isn't sluicing, and every week he doesn't sluice, he loses 45 trillion ounces of gold. Dean is creating a system of berms and a wash plant pad. Parker gives him one week to get it done. Meanwhile, two weeks in, Parker reveals he has spent $220,000 in repairs, $470,000 in wages, and $440,000 in fuel. Add in his food costs, and he's now at $1.4 million in expenses this season. <coughs> Time for some math. Multiply that out for an entire 20-week season, and he has $14 million in expenses. Let's assume a similar expense total like that the previous season. Last year, he mined 7,427.25 ounces, giving him an initial profit of $8,902,400. So based on the above expenses, before paying Tony a single penny of royalties, he's already lost $5,087,600. But who's counting? Meanwhile, Dean isn't moving fast enough for Parker, so he motivates Dean by swearing at him. They haul in the wash plant, but the pad isn't wide enough. More swearing from Parker, and face rubs? Dean drives off, refuses to talk to Parker, and Parker says, whatever, and also drives away. Dean quits and gives a very tough assessment of Parker's management style on his way out. First Gene Cheeseman, now this? Stop killing off the awesome characters, please. Parker wants to create a second pond and a bigger pad. What took Dean one week to do, he gives the new crew one day. They do it, and Big Red and the sluices get dragged into position with the usual drama and lack of death as Parker watches from his truck. A cleanup finds 124.3 ounces. Beers, high fives, and beers are enjoyed by all. Tune in next time when the Rick Ness crew is given the horrifying news that Discovery is only paying for the first case of beer. Another two hours of my life gone forever. Really should appreciate all this suffering I go through. <laughs> Way to pat yourself on the back. Wow, what a loser I am. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. You can leave a comment below, you can like, and visit us on Facebook for what it's worth. And I'll see you next week.